students and satellites go together like NASA in space. University students from all across the United States are building small satellites that will fly on NASA missions. These tiny satellites are nicknamed CubeSats because of their small shape and size. However, the science behind a CubeSat is anything but tiny. Hi, I'm Gary Scrubot with NASA's Launch Services Program, and I'm the mission manager for the ALANA initiative. ALANA stands for Educational Launch of Nanosatellites, and our mission statement is to launch education into space. In fact, the ALANA missions are the first educational launches for NASA's Launch Services Program. These student-built satellites launched with NASA supervision can test new technologies while making future missions easier and cheaper for everyone. A basic CubeSat that a student team would build looks like a four inch cube and weighs about two pounds. The CubeSats are placed as secondary payloads on current NASA missions. In other words, the CubeSats piggyback or hitch a ride alongside the primary spacecraft. NASA already has their spacecraft ready for launch. The student CubeSats are just tagging along. NASA requires the students to take the basic capabilities of a full-size satellite and place them into one about the size of a grapefruit. One of NASA's missions is to attract and retain students in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Alana achieves this important goal by engaging and inspiring students with invaluable hands-on opportunities, such as working side-by-side -side with NASA scientists and engineers. Now that is the definition of real-world experience. It's true what they say, good things do come in small packages.